First, let us define meiosis with this image. From a parent cell, four cells are formed after two divisions. And the chromosome number of this total cells is reduced to half, as you see here, compared to this parent cell. So, four cells with half chromosome number. Now, we can define meiosis as a type of cell division that produces four haploid cells with half the chromosome number from a diploid parent cell. Meiosis is essential for sexual reproduction as it forms egg cells and sperm cells and also contributes to genetic diversity. Now let us understand the stages of meiosis. As we said, there are two divisions. The first division is the meiosis 1. The first stage is the prophase 1 of meiosis 1. During this stage, the chromosome condenses and becomes visible. Homologous chromosomes pair up. So this is the homologous chromosome pair. These are chromosomes with similar length, gene position and centromeric position, one from the father and the other from the mother. This forms tetrads as it is made up of four chromatids, one, two, three, four. That's why it is called as tetrads. So homologous chromosomes pair up or synapse during meiosis one of prophase one. Crossing over or exchange of segments between these homologous chromosomes takes place during this stage that contributes to genetic diversity. Nuclear envelope breaks down, spindle fibers form. The next phase is a metaphase. During metaphase, nucleus disappears, the tetrads or homologous chromosomes aligns at the center or at the metaphase plate. Spindle fibers attaches to the centromere of these homologous chromosomes. The next phase is the anaphase 1. During anaphase 1, homologous chromosomes are pulled to the opposite poles of the cell by the activity of the spindle fibers, as you see here. And the final stage of meiosis 1 is the telophase 1. During telophase 1, chromosomes reach the poles, nuclear envelope reforms, division of cytoplasm or cytokinesis occurs, resulting in the formation of two haploid daughter cells. So from a diploid parent cell, two haploid cells are formed. That is why meiosis 1 is called as reduction division as two haploid cells are formed from a diploid parent cell. So, in this division, the chromosome number is reduced to half. The second division is the meiosis 2. In meiosis 2, the first stage is prophase 2, where chromosomes condense. Again, in each of these haploid cells, spindle fibers forms, just like prophase 1. Then there is metaphase 2, these chromosomes align at the center or at the metaphase plate in each haploid cell. Spindle fibers attaches to the centromere of sister chromatids. The next stage is the anaphase 2, where the sister chromatids are pulled apart to the opposite poles of the cell by the activity of spindle fibers. And the final phase is the telophase 2, where chromatids reaches the poles Nuclear envelope reforms and cytokinesis or division of cytoplasm occurs, resulting in the formation of four genetically distinct haploid cells, as you see here, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So in meiosis 2 is just like mitosis, two haploid cells divides to form four haploid cells, just like mitosis. That's why meiosis 2 is also called as equational division, or it is similar to mitosis. The major difference between meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 is in meiosis 1 during anaphase, homologous chromosomes are separated. Whereas in meiosis 2, as you see here, during anaphase 2, sister chromatids are separated. Now we can summarize meiosis as a type of division that results in the formation of four haploid cells from a diploid parent cell or four cells with half the number of chromosomes in comparison with the parent cell. Hope you are clear. Where do mitosis and meiosis occur in our body? Comment your answers. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexamsforay.com.